he's so talented and he was playing guitar and I was just like and we we wrote I think maybe like three songs spotted you and Niall in the studio together what's going on well we've been interacting a little bit since us since I pronounced his second name wrong (laughs) yeah how did you say it Haran, Haran. Haran. Yeah. which is actually still naturally coming out every time I say it. It's it, it's a process to say it properly. Horan. It's how I imagine the Queen would say it. <laughs> Sir that- Niall Haran. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we've been speaking and we were like, let's just get in. Let's just see what happens. And we, we got in and it was so good. He's so talented and he was playing guitar and I was just like... And we we wrote, I think maybe like three songs. Wow! So, yeah, and, and that's it, that's good because Niall has got very slow hands, so his writing is. Uh, <laughs> he's broken. <laughs> Little Mix are part of this as well. Am I right? Yes. So they how, are. how are the girls? How are the girls involved? Well, obviously, I I just love them, and they're four women in the music industry, and I just wanted to get their opinion on how they feel about things and. It was interesting to see their point of view because they have each other and they lean on each other all the time and they they get to have that person in every situation and I don't. So I, I was intrigued to see how they found it and, and weirdly they had the same feeling as me even though they had each other. So yes, it was interesting. Really nice. Yeah, it sounds really, really good. Really nice to see your friendship and also the, your collaboration with them. We'll see that on your brand new album, right? <laughs> Whatever I win. Yeah. Oh, that's it. I, it's just what I heard. Amory, where are you? What are you? What are you currently doing? Um, I'm actually in someone's house. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, earlier on in the week, we spoke about going through wrong doors. Did you get the wrong door, or what's going on? <laughs> um. Well, I thought I have quite. I live in a quite a small flat. Right. And for lockdown, I thought I need to just get into somewhere that has more space. So I'm in wow. someone's house. Oh, wow. A bit of an Airbnb job. Let jobby. yourself in. No, okay. she just knocked on the door. <laughs> oh, she just knocked on the door. Yeah. Just I was... went through a few houses and was like, let me in. <laughs> you would, you know, though, I, wouldn't you? I wouldn't, I wouldn't actually in. doubt it. Um, I mean, <laughs> 2020 is nearly over. We've nearly got through this horrendous year. Uh, but what, what does 2021 look like for Amory? Oh, a lot of WKD, I think, and um, going out. And you know what's weird? Every time I had the opportunity in 2019 to go out with my friends, be sociable, I I turned it down because I was just like so focused on work and just so tired all the time. And I feel like 2021, I'm not ever going to say no to anyone. Can I just say, you wouldn't be the only person saying that. Like, I think everyone's gone, oh, I wish I went out, like, because we all miss it. We took it for granted. Yeah. Yeah. I took it for granted. And I didn't really like the sweaty situation with strangers around (laughs) me, but now I feel like... I'm going to just thrive in that situation now. Sounds weird. That Don't, don't put that in. <laughs> I'm definitely putting it in. Yeah. 100%. You're a new judge on The Voice next year. So, obviously, you're doing that next year as well. You're going to join uh, Sir Tom Jones, Will I Am, and Ollie Murs. Now, Anne-Marie, we know that you're really nice. Almost too nice, if anything. How are you going to let someone know that they can't actually sing? Well, the good thing is, if you don't think they can, you don't have to turn around. Yes, true. Oh, yeah. Seems quite passive aggressive. <laughs> yeah. like the behind the back. <laughs> but if, if another person turns around for them and I don't, you still have to give them like a comment. And, yeah. I, and I guess I'll just be like, your outfit's sick. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I, th- I think you're going to be brutal. Wait, but this is a bit of a hack because if we hear Anne Marie talking about how nice their outfit is, we know secretly <laughs> she didn't rate them. <laughs> Yeah, but also at the same time, at the same time, I will pull up the uh, one article, the, the only article that Anne-Marie and I have shared the headline on, which is uh, Roman Kemp and Anne-Marie share worst dressed. Yeah. Uh, really? At, at the Jingle Bell Ball, yeah. Uh, you, what, you both got you the both got worst it. dressed? You both got it. Horrendous clobber I've yeah, ever seen it in my was, life. It was ropey. Sorry, Anne-Marie. <laughs> it was ropey. Oh, dear. Yeah. Uh, oh. But, but Anne-Marie, uh, we, we, love, we love seeing you on Twitter and Instagram and your social media. It is so funny because it's literally just like, I mean, it is just 
an extension of your voice. You had got constantly on there just, uh, you know, chatting around. And, and we saw something that you said that we want to bring up. The other day you tweeted, I only just found out that a mince pie hasn't got any mince meat in it. Yeah. How is that true? How does, how, how am I meant to know that? Yeah. Did you never have mince pie as a kid? No. Really? Because what, I so, thought you... they had mince meat in it. <laughs> so what about, what about your, your parents? Like, did, did, did they not, are they not eating mince pies for Christmas? Yeah, everyone, all of the people around me ate mince pies, but they never told me it didn't have mince meat in it. So wait, mm. have you actually tried one now? No. Because you're still a bit one. scared. Because it's freaking me out a little bit. And it's, it's is, it, is it like, it's cooked fruit? Yeah, it's yeah. like dates and stuff like that. It's like something that your parents say, oh, it's delicious, and they're not really that great. I love yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Sean it's, loves a mince pie. Yeah, I'm all for the mince pie. I, I do agree, though, maybe they need to be renamed. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, fruit pie. Fruit pie. Mm. Oh, well, I said candy pie. A candy pie? Because it's candied fruit. A candy pie. You'd want to eat that. Oh, yeah, I would, actually. 100% you want to eat that. 